Today we're going to introduce you to the smallest and least expensive member of the Roland family, the Sticka Portable Design Cutter. Digital vinyl cutting is a very easy and effective way to produce simple signs, decals, and lettering. In this video, we'll show you the basic three-step process of cutting, weeding, and applying vinyl. To begin, you'll need a computer with a vector-based design software like Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw, and a Roland Sticka design cutter, which comes with Cut Studio software. You'll also need some standard vinyl tools like tweezers, scissors, application tape, and a cutting mat. Vinyl is available in a wide variety of colors and has a self-adhesive backing. We'll begin by setting up your Sticka design cutter. First, load the vinyl into the Sticka. Set the blade in the blade holder and adjust the blade extension. Before beginning, perform a test cut to ensure the blade extension is set for proper handling of the media. Simply hold down on the power button for a few seconds to perform a test cut. A perfect test cut will cut all the way through the vinyl but not through the backing sheet. Your Sticka is ready to go. Create the graphic in your design software. Your design can include text and shapes, or you can import from a collection of pre-made vector art. Adjust your graphics to the desired size. Finally, create a weed border. This is a rectangular box that surrounds the entire graphic. That's it, you're ready to send the file to the cutter. The Sticka will precision cut the graphic just as you designed it. When cutting is finished, remove the material from the Sticka. You can repeat these steps for multiple color layers. For each layer, weed the graphic by removing the excess material. Apply application tape to the weeded graphic. This will help you remove it from the backing material. Using a squeegee, make sure all air bubbles are pressed out and that the application tape is completely sealed against the backing sheet. When you're ready, peel back the application tape and the vinyl will come up with it. Position your graphic as desired and press onto the substrate to lock the graphic in place. Now use your squeegee to smooth the graphic and tape against your substrate. Work from the inside and press out toward the edges. When all air bubbles have been pressed out with a squeegee, you're ready to remove your application tape and discard. That's it! You can now stand back and admire your new digitally cut graphic. Now wasn't that easy? Thanks for joining our workshop today. Remember, you can view our entire video workshop series and register for Roland University online at www.rolanddga.com.